I mean, Phantom is the longest lasting model name in automotive industry, over 90 years now, and uh, Phantom carries quite a long legacy and history. It was the car for men of state, kings, queens, captains of industries, stars of film and stage. So it always was in the moment where history was made. And for that reason, it is a fantastic moment to launch the car. The new Phantom is in its eighth generation. And uh, the new Phantom is what I would call an even better masterpiece than its predecessor, the Phantom 7. Of course it would be, uh, particularly when it comes to typical features like magic carpet ride, like uh, serenity when you sit inside the car, when it comes to latest technology, when it comes to the way how that car wafts, swiftly driving, we call it flight on land. And uh, all these features are typical Rolls Royce, but we have also captured something which is truly unique. And that is what we call the gallery inside, where our patrons are now able to, in a way, customize and bespoke uh, the dashboard in an unseen way before by placing, for instance, little artisan pieces into it. It's all behind glass and is, in a way, a gallery. Uh, and that's why the name is Gallery. Phantom is truly global, truly international. And wherever you travel into the capitals of the world, I bet you will see a Phantom. For us, it is a seminal moment for Rolls-Royce Rose Motor Cars to launch Phantom 8. Phantom 7 was launched 14 years ago, and Phantom 8 opens up what I would call a new chapter for the company. I mean, Phantom sits on a brand new luxury architecture, we call it. It is really truly engineered by Rolls-Royce in itself. It is not in any way using components, parts, bodies from mass manufacturers. So it is what I would call the utmost when it comes to luxury and for us also the crown when it comes to Rolls Royce and it is the pinnacle of luxury coming from the house of luxury Rolls Royce motor cars. Phantom stands for this sense of permanence in many ways. It's this uh, portal to the past, uh, conjuring the magic of our design history in many ways. At the moment, it's a portal to the future. We're defining New Phantom. New Phantom is certainly respectful of its forebears. We have this wonderful history of coach-built cars, glamorous cars, some designed for Hollywood stars in the 1920s, some in the post-war era designed for the magnates of the 1950s and 60s. It's a wonderful heritage on which to draw inspiration. But it comes down to maybe two points. From afar, there's this gesture of elegance. There's this gesture of quiet good manners, and up close the detailing is delightful, it draws you in, you want to travel in the back of the car. So New Phantom for me is all about this duality between somehow gravitas and status, often afforded to the front face of the car, and this lovely sense of elegance, especially inside you. We're balancing these two worlds, but it is the grill finally that defines New Phantom. It's bigger, it's more magnificent in many ways, but comes the side of the car, and you observe this lovely fleetness of foot, this elegance, this waftability, as we call it, as the car glides through the night. And I think that quintessentially really sums up New Phantom.